The training has to fit reality. Reality does not fit the training. We see a certain amount of uh, self-defense situation. We see violence, we see crime, we see all these things. Uh, we watch the news and we see all these things happen. But then you go to the martial arts school and they're teaching you how to do things like spinning back kicks or jump back flip kicks or spinning this or it's like there's no way that that fits reality. It absolutely does not fit reality. You have to train for the threats that you see. That's what that means. Training has to fit reality. Reality does not fit your training. You have to have a specific set of skills that will allow you to protect yourself in reality. There's a certain amount of threats that happen, right? When we think of the top situations from a self-defense perspective, you have to be able to protect yourself in those situations. Now I know people tend to think that MMA is the greatest martial art of all time. Those people are wrong. When have you ever seen someone say, oh my God, there was this brutal thing happen at the church because one person walked in and did a double leg takedown. Oh my God, did you see the horrific things that happened at the elementary school? One MMA fighter walked in and did an arm bar. When has that ever happened? Never. When you guys leave your house in the morning, there's a certain amount of threat that you are presented with. That is the truth. There's a threat with you going into the grocery store, going to school, going to church, going to the temple, uh, going out to dinner at a restaurant, wherever it is you're going shopping, going to the mall, going to the park. There, there's, a, there's, a, there's a specific threat that you may have to deal with. And some threats are more probable than others. You're walking out of the store. You're walking out of Walmart. And as you open up your car door, you start putting your groceries. An opponent comes after you and they try to attack you in some way. And now you're in a self-defense situation. Do you see this opponent that you think is the most probable with a weapon? Or do you see this opponent with a double leg takedown trying to get some sort of arm lock. What's more probable? We have to train for what's real. Yes, we do grappling. Yes, we do kumite. Yes, we do sparring. Of course, you guys have to learn how to fight and exchange blows. But the reality is, you have to be able to do what you need to do in the situation that you're in. The training has to fit reality. Reality does not fit the training. Yes, you need, how, you need to know how to punch and kick. You need to have striking skills. Yes, you need to know throws. Yes, you need to know takedowns. Yes, you have to know how to grapple. All of those things, absolute. But if your martial arts training stops at punching, kicking, blocking, throwing, and grappling, if that's all you're doing, punching, kicking, blocking, throwing, and grappling, then your training does not fit reality. Because reality is going to present you with things that are not punching, kicking, blocking, throwing, or grappling. Realistically, the threats that you're going to see when you're in a self-defense situation is against an edged weapon, a firearm, multiple attackers. There's lots of things that you're going to have to deal with that's not punching, kicking, throwing, striking, grappling. Training has to fit reality. Reality isn't going to change based on what you like to do. What is real is real. And the threats that you have to deal with are there. And if your training doesn't prepare you for those threats, then you are not training in self-defense. You may be training in a martial art, and maybe a pretty martial art, and it may have been a combative martial art a thousand years ago. But that doesn't mean that it's gonna work now. It has to be applicable to the threat that we live now. If you are not dealing with that, your training does not fit reality. We're doing edged weapons, we do firearms against sticks, multiple attackers, we do conceal carry, we do survival skills, we do all of these things because I want you guys to have a real skill set. Training has to fit reality. Reality is not going to change to fit your training.